Good evening. My name is Steve Candelaria. Uh, in 1982, I was at a um, fair in San Juan County, in far near Farmington, New Mexico. I saw a booth that was uh, taking blood pressure. I approached their uh, table, and the young lady took my blood pressure. She said, "Wow." I asked, "What seems to be the problem?" She says, "You." blood pressure is very high. She called a uh, gentleman over that was standing there and they looked at the figures and he wanted to take me to the hospital right away. I said, no, I'll go to the hospital on Monday. I will go to the doctor on Monday rather. And uh, well, as it turned out, the doctor checked my blood pressure and he put me on medication. I asked the doctor what causes high blood pressure. He said, well, there's many factors involved in this. I asked him, well, what's causing it on me? He said, well, I don't know. I asked him several questions, and uh, he did not really give me an answer. I wasn't satisfied with what he told me. However, I did take the medication and left before I got thrown out. I thought uh, uh, that I wasn't satisfied with everything he said, so but I kept on going. I um, just wrestled along with it there for about 26 years. In 2007, I had a heart attack. Well, since then, I have been studying more about this situation, and I know now that my blood pressure was a symptom of something going wrong in my system. Uh, however, I, uh, I, I had already had a heart attack. I went to the hospital. They put two stents in me. Well, when I got out of the hospital, I, um, I got home and uh, a friend of mine that had been trying to get me into Synergy uh, was, uh, came over to see me and he said, you need to get on this. He had been trying to get me involved in that for two years and I had I thought I was healthy. I didn't know there was uh, something that bad uh, going wrong with me. Well, I got on the on the product, and uh, uh, after three visits to the doctor after the operation, uh, I went in and I told the doctor that I was going to quit taking the prescription drugs that she was giving me. Well, as it turned out, I. Um, she asked me, what are you going to do? You, you probably have to take this medication the rest of your life. And I told her, well, you know, the heart attack didn't kill me or hasn't yet, uh, but if I keep taking these drugs, I'm afraid they're going to kill me. And she says, well, what are you going to do? And I gave her a brochure about the uh, Synergy product, which included the Proarginine. And uh, she said, well, she says, you have my phone number and uh, you can, you know, uh, you don't just don't have to come back anymore. So, but in February of 2008, she called me and she asked me if I wanted to get checked. I said, well, I suppose that'd be all right. I says, when do you want me to go? She says, well, first I'm going to send you a prescription and you go down to your hospital there in, in your town and take a blood test and have them faxed to me. Well, about four days after I took the uh, blood test, she called me again and she says, well, I'm not going to give you an appointment. She says, your, uh, your blood work is in very good shape. There isn't anything that I can do to help improve that. Well, I had started to take the Proarginine, well, when Ken went knocking on my door. Uh, so I, I had been taking it then for probably a couple of, two, two and a half months. Well, that, uh, oh, do you? that turned out that, um, as it turned out, uh, I, I was recovering real fast. I was doing real good with this. So after, seeing what it did for me, I took on a distributorship and went ahead and started to try to sell these. Uh, I have um, 
I have a lot of respect uh, for Ken and the medication. I, I just love the medication and uh, uh, I kind of have to uh, uh, tell you a little more uh, about myself because uh, I'm kind of getting lost here, but we'll, we'll find a way here and we'll get there. Um, let me think just a little bit. Uh, boy, I'm, I'm totally lost now. <laughs>